CM Business Directory allows you to create a site with a comprehensive directory of businesses. Each business has a profile page with detailed information. In this example use case guide, we'll cover how to create a small directory with five businesses in education and IT. You can apply the same idea to the topic of your site. To add your first business, head to WordPress Admin Dashboard, CM Business Directory Pro, Add Business. You will be able to fill detailed information for your new business. The directory page is automatically created upon plugin installation in this address. As you add businesses, it will be automatically updated to present all profiles. It's a normal page with this short code, which outputs your businesses. You can configure how it looks by default by heading to the Plugin Settings Directory Appearance tab. In this page, you can decide options such as Default Template, Filters, and Default Sorting Order. Another important setting in the directory is regarding filters. In other words, how users can narrow down and search the directory. For example, you might want to let users search by tags but not keywords, or allow search by custom taxonomies. All settings are under filter settings. Now let's match the page to our site's identity. Here are some examples of what we can achieve. Head to the Business Page tab. We can change default country, page colors, show or not, logo, publish date, update date, comments, back to directory link, business email, address and video, show or not custom taxonomies, show or not additional links and fields, and also what are their labels and related businesses. The business directory is flexible in that you can change or configure a series of fields and choose to display them or not. You can enable or disable and rename taxonomies from the taxonomies tab they will apply to both directory and profile page. You can then manage, add and edit custom taxonomy items from the WordPress admin dashboard, CM Business Directory Pro, relevant menus. For custom links, the settings are in the Business Page tab. Set Show Additional Custom Links to Yes, and you will be able to see these fields when editing a business. Choose a label and icon for up to four custom links. Custom fields are similar and the settings are just below additional links in the Business Page tab. If you have a CM locations installed, you can display Google Map, either on the Business Page, address of that business, and in the Business Directory, and show a map with all businesses. To do this, under Business Page tab, click Business Page Defaults and configure Display Map, if and where it should be shown. To show a map with businesses, Apply this shortcode. It has two attributes. Category, specify one or more categories by their ID or slug, and category filter, set one to allow users to filter categories and zero to disable it. The default is one. If your site is not in English, that's okay. The CM Business Directory lets you translate the most important front-end labels to your language of choice. To do so, head to the Labels tab. Some examples of labels available for translation are business, address, city or town, and back to directory. You can add advertisement or other content in three sections of the business pages. Advertisements can include short code generated by other plugins, such as the AdChanger plugin, and JavaScript code generated by external ad services, such as Google AdSense. Navigate to the admin dashboard, CM Business Directory, Settings. Click on the Advertisement tab, change the code for the different advertisements as needed. Ads to display above the related business, below the related business, and ads to be displayed under the business map. You can show the number of Twitter followers, Alexa ranking, and Google Maps on each business page. Twitter and Google integration require an API key. Navigate to the Admin Dashboard, CM Business Directory, Settings, API tab.